What is my suggestion about taking uh, electrolytes during, uh, or salt particularly, during long runs? Now first of all, um, most of the people that uh, can benefit from salt tablets are those that have cramps in their calf muscles. And uh, that is most commonly due to not taking walk breaks frequently enough. And once people start taking walk breaks frequently enough, the cramps almost always go away and, and never return. So that's what I'm going to recommend first. But if you have reduced your run-walk-run run down to very little running, and you're still getting cramps in your calf muscles, then it's certainly appropriate to take some of these salt tablets. Uh, the salt tablet that in my experience has had the highest rate of success is actually called Succeed. It has 400 uh, milligrams of sodium and 30 milligrams of potassium and is used rampantly in Ironman events and uh, ultra marathons and has significantly reduced cramping and hyponatremia. So this brings us to hyponatremia and drinking. Uh, hyponatremia is um, a uh, dramatic loss of sodium due to drinking too much fluid. The amount that has been deemed dangerous is more than 20 ounces an hour. And the reason um, that this happens is that when you run, even on a hot day, your system is under stress and digestion shuts down to a major extent. So it doesn't matter how much you're drinking, you're just not going to get very much fluid that's actually absorbed into the system. Uh, and the uh, experts that I've interviewed in this topic tell me that, and depending on which study you're looking at, it's only between 5 and 10 ounces an hour that is actually absorbed out of the stomach. So if you're drinking more than 5 to 10 ounces, you're going to have excess fluid that's shunted through the urinary tract. Now as it goes through the urinary tract, you're going to have sodium washed out of the system. The more you drink, the more you lose. And if you get down to a dangerous low level of sodium, you can uh, get into this very dangerous situation. I say dangerous because hyponatremia has uh, caused uh, one to three deaths a year, uh, most years, in marathons, and more deaths than that in the longer events. And it's totally preventable simply by controlling the amount of fluid you're drinking. And again, no more than 20 ounces, but most people I work with don't drink more than 10. And mainly I'm telling you this because I'm against death. Now, I know it's a losing battle, but I'm still against it.